joining me to talk about the rear wing of the Formula One cars and the DRS, Drag Reduction System Mechanism, is Albert Fabrega. Hello, Albert. Hola, I should Hola, say. Hola, Ana. Bienvenida a Barcelona. Muchas gracias. Uh, so much going on for you this yep. week with your amazing caravan uh, and also building this wonderful Alpine rear wing. Yep. Of course, not to size. I think everyone no. will realize that. 50%. Uh, 50%. There we go. Get all the metrics in there with the DRS mechanism. Yes. So you're going to talk us through what you've created and what we can show everybody at home. So this is a scale piece of the rear wing of the Alpine. And we're going to talk about one system that has been in Formula One since a long time ago. And it makes uh, the overtaking easier for the drivers because we know that it's so difficult with these cars, not with the 2020 cars that are a little bit easier, but uh, for these uh, modern cars of the Formula One, even if you go one second quicker than the car you have ahead, it's difficult to overtake. So uh, DRS, so this is a drag reduction system, it makes that life easier and it downloads the downforce of the car, mainly on the straights in, the, in some areas that FIA uh, marks in every single circuit to give you more speed. Because there are That's a it. lot of rules around it, yes. aren't there? You know, you can't use DRS until after two laps into a race. Perfect. If the safety car comes out, you can't use it until two laps have passed as well. As you mentioned, different zones around the circuit as well. And of course, vitally, you have to be within one second of the car in front to activate that flap. So plenty to look at here. Yeah, I can't yeah. believe you've made it. It looks <laughs> like it's going to work fabulously. Yeah. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay, the first thing we have to say is that DRS system is a drag reduction system, as you said, but there is an adjustable element on the aerodynamic side that is not allowed for the, for the whole car. There is only one part that you can adjust and you can move while the car is on track. That is this top flap on the upper side of the rear wing. And when you open it, yep. what's the gap? It's 85 mils. This is all season the same measure, all season with all the settings, all the wings, there's no changes on that. FIA can change the zone, the length of the zone, they can change uh, the detection points, they can change whatever they want on track, but not on the system. So the system is always remains like this, where you can open up to 85 millimeters gap not 86, you remember last week, yes. last year in Brazil. Oh, not I remember 86, that. Or 85. I think so did Lewis 2, Hamilton. <laughs> uh, so you have to open, and what you create with that is to uh, lose downforce of the car. So if you lose downforce of the car, you lose as well the drag. Of so course. You, you gain speed. And just when we talk about activating it, yeah. the driver obviously does that. With a button. On the steering wheel. Yes. And then when he wants to close it, it's the brake pedal. Exactly, so there is a line on the straight that is set by the FIA, and when the driver arrives to that point, they can push the button, and what happens is that top flap, it opens, and when the driver just press a little bit the brake, or release completely the throttle, then it closes back, because if not, you lose about 30% of downforce of the car. So imagine what can happen if you enter the corner, or you try to brake, and without a 30% of the downforce of, of the rear of the car, yes. not the full car. It's going to be quite a dangerous yeah, one going one. through a corner like that. We've seen some accidents on that Absolutely. if you have a problem. Yes, so now we know all of the, uh, the way it can be activated. Yes. I want to see it working. I want to see this beautiful creation work. This Here we is go. the activation system. It is a piston. It's nothing, nothing else that uh, you have a piston in the middle. If you put pressure in one side, it's going in and out. Mm -hmm. And it's moving that uh, top flap. You want to try? I do want to try, Albert. Okay. I want nothing more. Let me put pressure on the system. Okay. And you have a button here. We've got here. some gas canisters you... behind yeah. us here. That's <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> and you're going to be the driver. Okay, so I've got a can... little switch. You are in the, in the straight, you are mm -hmm. on the other zone, and you want more speed on the car to try to overtake the car you have ahead. And One, two, three. <gasps> That's it. It's super quick. It, it is quick. It is. This, this is pneumatic because we have not budget enough to do it hydraulically. <laughs> but on a Formula One car, it works on hydraulic system, the same hydraulic system that fits, for example, the div or that fits the steering wheel. So the the, the technical side, uh, or the, the engineers take that that hydraulic pressure to activate that piston that here is uh, pneumatically. But you can close it back. So you arrive to the, to the, to the brake point. Very you push quick. the brake. Yeah, very quick. It must be like that. They yeah. need to recover the downforce immediately because a thirty percent of downforce of the car at the back, you will lose the car easy on the braking. So you lose a lot of... A lot of. Well, that worked perfectly. Yes. Y y you want to see how the flow moves? Yes, absolutely. Because we talk about how the air travels over yeah. a car. It would be interesting to see how that changes when the flap is shut and then when it's opened. We say always that the aerodynamics uh, put 
do an upwash on the flow. Yes. So if you push the air up, it means you push the car down. So you you wanna that's gonna get a little bit more. Should we? Typical. All sorts of apparatus are coming out now, out there. Uh, so Should we switch? The, this is air with water. I, I will blow it in here. Okay. So you will see that the flow is going up. Yes. So creating an upwash on the car. I hope that. Yeah, you can see it rising right you, up. Can you see that mm -hmm. the air is going up? Up into the air. So we are pushing the the, the car down. The car and down. The air is going up. Now you're gonna be my driver here today. So. I will blow the air so okay. we can see the steam going up. Yep. And then you press the, the uh, you activate the system and we'll see that the air is not, not that higher. Up. Yeah, okay. Ready? Try. Uno, dos, yeah. tres. You see? Yeah. Close it again. You see? It's creating a That's different fabulous. flow. That works brilliantly. Yes, it is. I love your tech demos nice. out there. But the good thing, yes. uh, you know the flow, blah, blah, aerodynamics, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Can we, can Don't we, tell that to the aerodynamics. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, we, it, it's fake. It's fake. It's a, it's, a, it's a fake wing. But can we show that in numbers? You want to see that when we open the DRS, we are losing downforce. Yes. We are losing weight because what we are doing is pushing the, the, the wing down. And this is in a scale. And we have... A weighing scale here. Wing scale. So we're going to try to do the same thing. And let's see if we lose downforce. Can you jump over it? I'm going okay. into the danger zone, it feels yes. like. Okay, so okay. I will blow the air with the DRS closed. Mm -hmm. Then you measure, you read how much downfall we are creating on this wing. It's not, it's not the real one. Eh? No. Don't, 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 don't take it as real. But then you open the DRS and you see if the, the, if weight, the weight is going down. And okay? decreases. Okay, Let's right. try. It. Right, we're taking a reading. So about open it. Yeah. 500. And? 400. So from 500, it again. Ooh, and it's increasing. Yeah. So yeah. So we, we lose how much? About 100, so from 100 500 to 400. Grams, 100 grams is 20%. And In that's a real what you would expect. Yeah, 30%. 30%. But, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a way to, to explain that when the DRS is open, we, we are need, losing downforce. <laughs> we need windscreen wipes. <laughs> You're getting... <laughs> It's, it's, it's rather bad, lovely. For the weather, it's okay. To be yeah? honest, it's, it's rather okay. lovely out there. I haven't said it's, um, uh, it's toxic liquid, but it's okay. Oh gosh! Let, go oh it. gosh! Um, no, that is fabulous to actually see that in numbers. Yeah. And it is amazing, as you say, you can see the water traveling upwards and then when it's open through. Through um, That has made it very That's understandable. Good. Thank you so much. What a fabulous explanation. And what incredible design yeah, skills out is, there. It's nice. Uh, I have a lot of friends uh, helping me on that. I'm not uh, clever enough to do it by, by myself, but uh, yeah. Well, we're doing it. Thank you, you so much. As always, a yeah. great explanation and tech demo. You know what, where got, we are? You know what's that? El plan. <laughs> we have a plan. We always have El plan. <laughs>